There we go. Now I'm all ready. Hi everybody. Thank you for joining me tonight for another stamping tip that can save you some time. And you might even say to yourself, why didn't I think of that? As you know, I'm coming to you from central Wisconsin from my stamping studio, which you can find me on my blog or on my Facebook business page, which is Cindy's Stamping Studio. Um, my blog is, or rather, my stamping store is Cindy's Stamping Studio dot stamping up dot net. Hi, Jan. I'm glad you could help join me tonight. That's wonderful. Um, as I move on, my host code is right here, and I would love it if you would use that if you place an online order. Okay, I just got back from Minneapolis Saturday night and this is the really pretty notebook that we got. Um, it's like a mini convention that Stamping Up has. We have it in a different city in the Midwest. Last year's was in Milwaukee. This year it's Minneapolis. We're thinking next spring it'll be Madison. Although they are planning to change it and so I'm hoping we get Eau Claire. I don't know. I think that would be great. And so we always get a gift bag with some goodies in it. And I don't know if you can see this. Sure. This is what the bag looks like. It's a real heavy canvas with this um, sewn on it. The Stamping Up logo. This is what it looks like inside with some pockets and zippered. It was very nice, and I had it plum full. I couldn't believe it. So, okay. Um, we learn, when we're at this convention, we learn about new products and stamp sets, uh, business tools. We get to see the new in colors, designer series paper, and this is um, a designer series paper right here. And we get our, we get to, um, play with the stamps. Now the new in colors are right here and they are pretty peacock. That should be that color. Purple Posy, which is this color, Rococo Rose, Seaside Spray, I think that's that, I'm not sure, and Terracotta Tile. I don't, um, I was able to pre-order, but my things haven't come in yet. So, okay. Moving along. This was some designer series paper that we got with hummingbirds on it. Um, I just want to show it to you. It's double-sided, which is very pretty. It's, um, like embossed. On one side, you can see that shininess. Oops. So that'll be looking forward to playing with that. And um, here's one of the stamp sets that I got. Um, they always have a box of, of things that we use for our make and takes. And this was one of the make and takes along with this really pretty ribbon. It's in very vanilla. I can't wait to make something with that. And this, it starts with art. I got this stamp set, Celebrate with Cake. And this Daisy Lane, which... If you see this is our daisy punch, but they've also come up out with a medium daisy punch. Okay, now this was one of the make and takes. They have colored them and there's a punch to punch out the flower petals. This designer paper, I can't wait to get my hands on that. Um, it's just so pretty. And this was another one. 
which I like to. There's a embossing folder with buttons on it. This is one of the paper pumpkins that's coming out in May with a matching envelope. It's just an it's just like a note card. Okay. And then we have this little note card with um anchor embellishment and this lighthouse. So, and the last make and take was uh this let's see if they tell me the I don't know the names yet. No, they don't tell me the names. But if you notice the um if you notice on my notebook, it was the same paper. So, on stage, it's fun. Um, it's open to any demonstrator. So, if you ever wanted to join my team, you could go with me. So, yeah. Well, hi, um, hi, Mary. I'm glad you could join me. So good to see you um, on here. Um, let's see, what else? I'm getting ready to, um, order the new catalogs, which, oh, new catalogs. Speaking of new catalogs, I can't show you it, what it, any of the pages, but I can show you the cover. There it is. And if you are one of my customers or have attended at least three classes in the last six months, I will have a catalog just for you. I'll be placing the order so that's delivered right to your house, be it a physical catalog or a physical class or an online class. It's just my gift to you and um, to thank you for your business. Uh, don't worry about not going to enough classes you can buy a catalog from me uh and then re i'll reimburse you the five dollars with your first order so that's a pretty good that's a good deal i'm thinking uh let's see last week we had this lovely grapefruit grove and lovely lipstick paper and it was in the celebration book and i did get my hands on it and for everybody that commented and shared my video i put your names into um a drawing and using random list picker on the internet it picked the winner for me and that is our own Bernie Seidel. So, Bernie, I will bring your paper with me to uh, kit class next week. So, we have that. And while I'm at it, I think we should have another drawing. So, if you leave me a comment, or if you share my video, I will put your name into a um, drawing for this a uh, stamp set called Lovely L Lattice. It was a celebration set that you could earn free. And it has the this flower, another little flower, and then a scalloped edge. Okay? So, this is this is what's up for grabs for next week. And um give me a comment or share my video. I appreciate it so much. You can do, and if you miss the video tonight with tonight's Facebook Live, you can catch it, catch the repeat anytime on Facebook, or you can go to my blog. I will have it uploaded. Okay? So now let's do um, the tip and make our card. Okay. This is what we have. Um, this week's, week's tip is how we place the stamp on our blocks. Um, if you're going to be punching out something, like with the uh, um, cake builder, the piece of cake, rather, stamp set with the matching cake builder punch. It's really easy, 
And what I'm going to do is, I'll just leave that right there for now. We're going to, our card is going to be a piece of, a piece of four and a quarter by 11, scored at five and a half of Costa Cabana, a piece of four by five and a quarter Highland Heather as our layer, and Whisper White for the inside, adhesive sheet for our happy birthday, which is from the retiring Happy Birthday Thin Let. So if you like this, I would order it now because things are selling out pretty fast. And then we have um, scraps. Okay? So we'll put this aside. So what we do... Put that there. What we do is we take our punch... Okay, and I place the stamp, whoops, I place the stamp right on the punch, just like that. See, and so it's, it's covered up, right? And then I take my block. Hi, Judy Vine. I see you were able to find time to join us, and I'm so glad you did. As nice as it is, you're probably getting that itch to work in your garden. But I take my um, stamps, put it right on the punch, then take your clear block and put it just like that. And so now it's gonna, um, it's a if it's a perfect fit, and just to be on the safe side. We will take a piece of scratch paper and stamp we will stamp the um To make sure I know what I'm talking about, right? That's what I'm thinking. Okay, so we stamp that. Take our punch. And see, now I did it wrong. So I have to turn it over. I didn't do it wrong, per se. I have to just go like this. There. Because now, when I put my punch in there, like this, and punch it, it was perfect placement. Okay? All right. So let's finish making this card. We can throw that away. I use the... The Swirls and Curls Embossing Folder for my layer. And I'm just going to go and um, run that through my Big Shot, which is also retiring. So if that's something that you wish you had. The... Um, Retirement list came out, I believe it was yesterday. So, the piece of cake and the matching punch, they're still, they're staying. So, that was a good thing. Probably the only thing that was kind of sad was Lovely as a Tree, which has been around forever, like 20 years. That's retiring, which is kind of sad. But all good things come to an end, I guess. Okay, so now we have our Coastal Cabana and our Highland Hunter. I'm going to take the lovely lipstick foil piece and take my adhesive sheet 
this piece right here doesn't have anything sticky on it. I'm going to go and place it right like that. Just like that. Take my happy birthday and run that through the big shot. This is one um, thin lot I'm very, I, I really like. Then I'm going to take my picket tool and I have the pointy end and I'm just going to take that right off like that. And just go and take all the little pieces we have a major uh, maple syrup bottling organization going on as we speak in my kitchen right now I had to take a little break to do the Facebook live I didn't know anybody was coming over tonight they just decided they had time, so that's, I think, wonderful. And once we get this all off, just kind of double check it, and make sure that'll go right there. All right. All right. I want to go and take my scratch paper now and start building my cake. for the cake stand we don't need the gray piece of cake we just need the cake stand okay then I want We're going to take that, and I'm going to take this other scrap, and okay, cover this up. Picket tool. There. Okay. Punch that. That's perfect. And then let's punch the other piece, the other part of our cake. And let's just cut it off. And take our glue. Oh, 
I'll go and put the top layer of our cake like so. Just something different. And then I want to go and start assembling our card. So we'll go and put some glue on our layer. I got some good news to share with you. It looks like we're finally going to be done with maple syrup. The husband told me it's been getting so warm out and not freezing at night, so we'll probably be pulling our taps this weekend. I couldn't believe it. Okay. Now, remember we have the adhesive strips sheets. I'll get this off of there. And that one. Alrighty. We're just going to go and peel it right off. Okay. There. And put it right on our card and push down. That's all there is to it. Just like that. Okay. And our cake. Here's our cake stand. We'll put that right here. Just like that. And we'll take our cake and some dimensions. I'll put one on the bottom, one on top, like that. Um, if you're interested, this piece of cake stamp set is located in our Occasions mini catalog that can be found on page 18. You can bundle it with the punch and save yourself some money, which I always think is a good thing. Okay, then we'll take our uh, three and three quarters by five piece of paper and... We're going to stamp our uh, first on the inside. So hope this year is a piece of cake. Enjoy every crumb. Happy birthday, you sweet thing. I thought that was pretty cute. And I want to go and that'll work nicely. like that. All right. Sounds like I have a bunch of elephants in my house. It's just the little grandkids is all. There. And here's our kit. Here's our card. Which is a cute little birthday card, I think. So, hi Janet Schmidt, thanks for tuning in. That's, this is my card, and um, I thank you so much for stopping in. I hope that you have a great Easter, and we'll see you back here next week, I hope. Thank you.